Okay, guys, my name is Misha Keijer. I lecture you on corporate finance. And this is a short video about the effective annual rate. Okay, what is the case? Usually, credit card companies or other companies who service debt quote an annual percentage rate. For instance, in this case, there is a 5% annual percentage rate, APR. But they usually don't compare compounded yearly but in this case for instance they compounded monthly so they compound this 12 times a year so they tell you we charge you 5% a year but we going to charge you this let's say each month and now here is let's say the variable that denotes for okay how do how much do we effectively pay on this debt so this is why it's called effective annual rate and as we see in this example we're going to pay effectively 5.12% instead of the 5 that was in the ad of, let's say, the bank or the, uh, or the credit card company. So, in this case, I'm going to explain what is the difference between this 5% and this 5.12, which we effectively pay. So, let's make a small example to see how this works. For instance, we start with a thousand dollars, so we have we bought something and we have let's say with the credit card uh, company Visa, we have a debt of a thousand. And again, like I already said, let's say the annual percentage rate is five percent, but they compound it monthly. So in month zero, we owe them a thousand. After one month, how much do we owe them? Now we owe them still the principal, so that is one. Plus, let's say, the 5%, which is G3, divided by 12. So this is 1 twelfth of the 5% they're going to charge us on a yearly basis. So this is, let's say, what we owe them. So in a percentage-wise, how much do we owe them? That's not that difficult. Times 100, so that is point four two percent perfect so what is our debt outstanding with the credit card company after one month so we used to owe them in the first of let's say in the beginning a thousand but now we owe them you're right well, how much that is this number multiplied by what is it h3 so this is what we owe them. One thousand dollars plus four or euros, I should say, plus four euros and seventeen cents. So this is, let's say, the charge after one month. So the second month, again, they charge us. Again, they charge us this. 5% or let's say this 1 12th of 5% for the second month but not on the original principle but on the 1000 euros and 4 euros in and 17 cents so how does this work again this is nothing but this number here multiplied by this number here so after one month uh, after two months we owe them one thousand and eight euros and thirty five cents for the second one it is nothing but what was it h four times or i should say h five times this interest rate so doesn't take a wizard to tell us, okay, how can we drop this down very easily? If you look in this screen, what can we do? We just fix this one. And if we drop this down, what do we see? We see the numbers which are owed by let's say the guy 
who went who took the loan with the credit card company so eventually we don't pay five percent but a little bit more how much more now it's not that hard let's say in dutch we always say new minus all divided by all so it is nothing but this number we owe at the end of the year we started with a uh, this number we divide this by again the old number so what do we owe them and if we make this a percentage percentage we owe them let's say 5.12 percent or a little less but this is how the effective annual rate works so what does it tell us it tells us let's say if they start charging us each month we don't eff we effectively pay more than the annual percentage rate which is five percent but we let's say pay around 5.12 percent why because we start also start paying interest on the debt that is accumulated by the interest so let's say it's interest on interest like it states here so after the first month we're not starting paying this let's say one twelfth to five percent on the principal but on this number and in this month we're paying interest on this number and not on the principal so this is why let's say it can accumulate to let's say 5.12 percent so if we do it here this is what is stated i already calculated this because this is let's say a formula in excel which is not that hard but i hope this makes it's somewhat more clear now if we compound it for instance each month which is stated here if we compound it monthly we pay 5.11 percent if we com uh, compound let's say the interest rate the annual percentage rate let's say each quarter so after three months it is 5.09 percent but let's say if we do it semi annually it is 5.06 percent and it continues for instance if we do it each day you see it's 5.12 what is happening here and what I wanted to show you here is that let's say if you compound it continuously so let's say each second or each millisecond the effective annual rate doesn't explode it becomes stable at let's say 5.12711 percent so let's say this is this very famous Euler limit that states in the end the effective annual rate let's say boils down to this number e this 2.7 to the power annual percentage rate times the time period so this is what I wanted to tell you let's say the effective annual rate is nothing but let's say the altering of the annual rate if the annual rate is not compounded yearly but for instance semi annually or monthly then effectively we pay more on our debt okay thank you for listening